Diversifying investing can be an effective way to build wealth because putting all of your money into a single asset can expose you to significant risk. Diversification, the practice of spreading your investments across various assets, helps mitigate this risk and then stabilizes the returns you're going to receive. For beginners, understanding and implementing diversification is crucial for creating a balanced, and resilient investment portfolio. Understanding the basics of diversification is a strategy that involves spreading your investments across various asset classes to reduce risk. The idea is that diversified portfolio will on average yield higher returns and pose a lower risk than any individual investment will. It helps to mitigate the impact of poor performance in any single investment on your overall portfolio. You want to assess your current portfolio by taking a detailed look at your existing investments and identify how much of your money is allocated to different kinds of classes like stocks, bonds, real estate, and cash. This assessment will help you understand where you're currently concentrated and then which areas might need more balancing. If you set clear financial goals before you start diversifying, it will help you define your financial objective. Are you saving for retirement, a down payment on a house, or your child's education? Your goals will influence your investment choices and your risk tolerance. Short-term goals might lean you towards less volatile investments, while long-term goals could accommodate for potentially higher returns. You want to diversify across different asset classes. This typically includes stocks, which are shares in companies that can offer higher returns but come with higher risks. Bonds, they're debt securities that provide fixed interest payments and are generally considered safer than stocks. Real estate, which is physical properties or real estate investment trusts called REITs that can offer steady income and provide appreciation. Commodities are physical assets like gold, oil, or agricultural products, and they can also hedge against inflation. Cash equivalents are short-term, highly liquid investments like treasury bills or money market funds. It's not enough to diversify across asset classes. You should also diversify within them. So for example, within your stock investments, spread your holdings across different sectors like technology, healthcare, finance, and regions, domestic within the U.S. and international markets. This will further reduce risk as it prevents your portfolio from being overly reliant on any single market or sector. Index funds and exchange traded funds or ETFs are excellent tools for diversification because they allow you to invest in a broad market index or a specific sector without needing to pick out individual stocks and bonds. These funds often have lower fees compared to actively managed funds making them a cost-effective way to achieve diversification fairly easily. You want to rebalance your portfolio over time because certain investments will outperform others, causing your portfolio to drift from its original allocation. Rebalancing involves selling some of your assets and buying more of other kinds of assets, even if they're doing well. Your desired asset allocation is going to be whatever your risk tolerance allows. And this practice ensures that your portfolio will stay aligned with your risk tolerance and your investment goals. Diversifying your investment portfolio is a continuous process that requires regular review and adjustments. By following these steps, you create a balanced and resilient portfolio that helps you achieve your financial objectives while managing your risk effectively. Diversifying your portfolio is not just a one-time task, but ongoing strategy that requires regular review and adjustment. By consistently applying these principles, you can better navigate market fluctuations and work towards achieving your long-term financial goals. I'm Kathy, and I'm grateful to be a part of your journey to financial empowerment. Please let me know the topics that you'd like covered in the comments below. And if you're new here, please subscribe so that you too can improve the way that you think about your relationship with money.